Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is VTech. I'm here with K Rated Gaming. K Mines Incorporated. Up, Chris Mullins, how you doing? The man of many different names. I'm doing great tonight. How about yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. Let's talk about the Rumble. So, uh, big things obviously is that you know we got we got Taker, we got Goldberg, we got Brock. We have a lot of opportunities to kickstart stuff for Mania, you know, as we're going towards the uh, road to WrestleMania, you know? Yeah, like, and... this is really where, like, you can jumpstart feuds, you can have random things occur that can cause stuff that'll be, like, settled down the line. Hey, then it will settle it down the line at WrestleMania. Yes, definitely. Uh, and there's something, there's a couple things that are big that people aren't talking about uh, the, in this year, you know, the 2017 uh, Royal Rumble. And I think the Rumble match this year, this is probably the year they needed 40 people. Uh, most definitely. Yeah, um, I, I've, I've shot with shot, shot on that when we've been, just been talking. I said 40 or 50 would have been a good number for this year just because of the sheer. Because then they could still fit in, hey, we want to have a lot of surprises, but then you're not snubbing a lot of guys on the roster because the thing is, is the about this Rumble is as of right now, they only have like, I want to say they only had like maybe 12 spots remaining. It was like 11 or 12 spots remaining mm -hmm. of guys, and like the entire roster that was filled in thus far is literally like all the main events seen on both rosters and the New Day. So let's kick it off right here. Number 10 is the lack of tag teams. Um, the other thing that I'll say is that I think we'll get some impromptu tag teaming, you know what I mean? Like we'll get, of course... Uh, New Day. Well, actually, is New Day even in it? Because I believe. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No, yeah, the New Day said they're they're in it. They're in it. They're not going to be uh, facing Cesaro and Well, Sheamus? they, they might. No, the but cl all the all club is. is right. they entered, they, yeah, I was going to say. Well, they entered. Yeah. They, all I know is they entered the Rumble. Yeah, Kofi has to be in there, uh, especially because we're going to talk about him. Yeah, I think I um, think that's probably why they why they made that move to put yeah. them all in. There. But there's a lot, uh, lack of tag teams. You know what I mean? Um when you look at people who they might put in this it, you know we have Kane and Taker I think that will be an impromptu tag team that's the thing um, is with 12 spots only remaining I see a lot of the tag teams that are already in it like the American Alphas the all these other tag teams because there's abundance of tag teams over on Smackdown I see a lot of those guys not getting in because the fact yeah. is you don't want to put one guy in and not put his partner in mm -hmm. I really felt like they should have done you know Ten guys from Raw, ten guys from SmackDown, and then ten of a mixture of uh, people being, you know, debuted, people coming up from NXT, uh, returning legends, which we'll get into, stuff like that. I think Nostalgia, they really should have. Yeah, they really should have emphasized the fact that we need to get some good tag teams in here. We need to get some good single guys in here, and then we can have some nostalgia people um, in here. So, coming in at number 9, though, is the tag teams splitting up. If a tag team uh, is usually in the Rumble, there's always that moment of, like, their partner throwing them over the top rope. And I feel like if Sheamus and Cesaro do actually end up getting in the Rumble match somehow, um, even though they probably aren't, you know, we'll probably see something there, you know what I mean? Really, yeah, like, like I said, I've that. said for weeks, I feel like they're just transitional champions. I could see even if they do end up having the tag title match at the pay-per-view, I don't know. Is that official yet? Yeah, yeah. So it's official they are facing the club at the pay-per-view? That's it right now. That's it right now. Okay. So. Okay, cool, cool. Um, Then I could see the club take, like, I, I've said they're transitional champions. The club takes the belts because the cl not only does the club need it, but it's WrestleMania season to where if you put the belt on, pe on people on that... Heel everyone wants then you can also have that wrestlemania moment also with it being heel yes you can have a wrestlemania moment of hey these guys are going to hold the belts for a little while mm -hmm. but then you know what we're going to have the people that ultimately we we want to have as champion win those belts back from the the club but the club are going to hold those belts and then the club will win it again down the line but this is going to give the fans something to be like yeah yeah we have people splitting up um, and go in their own direction, you know what I mean? 
So if we do see and then also we can add a match for well. Mania. We could have a Cesaro Sheamus feud leading to Mania. Mm -hmm. Uh, now let's go back, let's get into some of the more interesting things. Number eight, what Hall of Famers uh, can be predicted to return? Now, of course, there's the big one, which is Ric Flair. Uh, we have to bring up that one because Ric Flair, obviously, you know, was really hyping up on Twitter the fact that he got a bench or a lift, what, 450 pounds? Yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, so he's trying to get his way in the Rumble, and it makes you wonder, like, what other Hall of Famers will try to participate in this Royal Rumble. Um, none really come to mind that would be different than the past couple years. I mean, uh, DDP recently was a big one, if you ask me. Um, you know who I'd love to see go in the Rumble? I know there's, a, like, a rumor of, like, a Shane being in there, Shane McMahon. Uh, I'd love to see McFoley, like, go in there after Shane or something. I know it'd be two wasted <laughs> spots, honestly. Um, but, you know, just... Yeah, just I don't want to waste spots on things just... Yeah, we're already like, wasting yeah, a lot of spots, I feel like. Because so, we also need a bunch of comedy uh, appearances also. Uh, coming in at number yeah. seven, though, to tie into that comedy appearances, to uh, the source Elimination. Who's gonna get the shortest yeah. elimination this year? Will, uh, we don't have will Santino, we get somebody but... that comes in in like two seconds, gets eliminated one second, mm -hmm. anywhere within like anywhere? I, I'd say a short elimination, like a real quick one that would be like a comedy elimination, is anywhere from one second to where they immediately get in knocked out to about four. I'm gonna say Bo That's... Dallas or uh, Fondango. I'm gonna say yeah, I was gonna say, I'm trying to think like who who have they really like. Pushed over with the idea of oh even maybe Angel. James Ellsworth he, even oh yeah Ellsworth well James he's Ellsworth. Yeah. Um, I see him Enzo awkwardly lasting a little bit for some weird reason. Uh, oh. Bronze in this, so it's like. Bo yeah. Dallas is another another really good one. Mm -hmm. um, number six, the Rumble feelings shorter. Uh, the last couple years, the Rumble has felt short. Where, like, we've had years... Well, like I said, um, we were looking at the stuff. Out. 2006 was the last time that, like, it had reached the past the hour mark was 06. Do you think it just feels so fast-paced? You know what I mean? Like, I think that the thing is, is... Like, I, that's the thing is, is, I don't know. I don't know if it's the lack of, hey, we don't have a lot of spots for you to do in this and to so just get out of the match. Mm -hmm. Just so we can get this thing over with, or it's guys can't last as long in the rumble, which could be a major issue. You might that need to work on your stamina if you can't, because that's gonna be a major issue, everyone loves yeah. everyone loves longer rumbles. Like that's the thing is, is so that's the reason why like the rumble card usually isn't very stacked because the fact that everyone just looks forward to okay, well this is going to be an hour long, and it's going to be something entertaining that'll keep me on the edge of my seat for an entire hour. Where, like, because, so that's why, like, and I always joked, like, back when they originally had the brand split, some of the funniest title matches came out of the brand split because it was the fact that, hey, everyone ev everyone of importance was entering the Rumble, so the, one of the people that wasn't entering the Rumble got to face the champion at Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. Like, we had Bob Holly one year fought Brock Lesnar. Yeah, think about that. Bob Holly, yeah, great guy. He's, uh, I've talked to him a couple times on Twitter. Really nice guy. He's not a world title contender. He's not. It's it, I, 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 There's no sugarcoat in it. Coming in at number five. Female entrance. Of course, there's only one female entrant on my mind. And that's Nia Jax. It's not like most Royal Rumble entrants. Um, if we were to have a female entrant this year, which as much as... The women's division has been pushed. I feel like we should at least get one this who will eliminate would James be Ellsworth. The so <laughs> I feel like Nia Jax would eliminate James yeah. Ellsworth for some weird reason. That would be but, perfect. That, that could that could get two of those spots. Yeah. That could get the comedy spot and the woman spot all in one thing. Yep. Uh, the question is who would eliminate Nia Jax? I feel like um, sadly James Ellsworth would get to eliminate her 
like at the same time you know what i mean yeah like i feel like it'd be one of those things like james ellsworth is getting thrown out by her and then he somehow like trips her up because naya's clumsy because they've pl- they've kind of played on the fact that naya's clumsy yeah yeah with all the new day stuff in the party for who she was awkwardly in even though she's a heel but um uh number four kane this will be his 20th rumble if he's there which i'm pretty sure he'll be there so yeah, we haven't seen him in a few weeks, but we know okay, Rumble sure time. It's like Rumble time. It's one of those things. Like they'll put him in the Rumble, and it won't be a surprise. But because of the fact that we haven't seen him in about a month, maybe two, it'll be like, oh, well, this is a huge surprise. Kane's here. Mm-hmm. I fool because all honesty, I fully expect him to be one of those twelve entrants. That do you think he'll be a uh, final five? Or do you um, think there's just so much star power? I'm gonna say boldly right now. I, um, I think the, the, the there's there's a major influx of star power, and it almost sucks because the fact that I feel like there's gonna be no random like, hey, this guy made the final four. Like mm-hmm. there because there was years like I remember, like one of the funny ones uh, in the year um, 2002, uh, the final four was. Angle, Triple H, Austin, and Mr. Perfect, who Mr. Perfect had made his return to the company at that time. Like, he had made his return to the company. I, I, I just thought in my head, I was like, because that was when I was obviously a kid, and I was thinking in my head, what if Mr. Perfect won that? Like, they just said, you know what? We're going to bring you back to the company. You know what? We're going to push you. Mm-hmm. All right. It's just... Well, I, well, I and unfortunately we won't. I don't know if we're gonna get that surprise in the final four because of the amount of star power in this. Like I feel like the final four will end up being something like, like unfortunately, I would book it differently. But unfortunately, I see it as Goldberg, Lesnar, Taker, and maybe Reigns and Strowman. <laughs> and, and, oh, and yeah, Strowman. And yeah, no SmackDown, guys. Sorry. Uh, number three, Taker is moving up with, uh, you know, the most eliminations. Uh, let me pull up this thing real quick. The total yeah, eliminations for Taker is 35. Yeah. Kane has 44. Um, but Taker, if he eliminates just two more, he will beat Stone Cold Steve Austin and be the third. If Taker can, can eliminate five this year, he will come in at second. If if Taker can eliminate like nine people or ten people, he will beat Kane's record for the total of el- eliminations. If Kane blows doesn't my get mind, if Taker could even do that, you know what I mean? If Taker can get nine people out of this match and they somehow say, you know what, Kane, we love you, but no mask this year. We're not gonna have Kane in the Rumble. Any mean amount to get out of here. If they mm-hmm. if they do that, that would be nuts. If he somehow was able to hold that record coming in at number two Chris Jericho will most likely be defeating Triple H's record if he can last I believe do 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 scroll up real quick like four minutes e- four minutes I'm gonna get the exact time uh yeah, four minutes. I'll give it four minutes. Uh, in reality, it's like three minutes and like 40 seconds. So if if Jericho can get in there, last four minutes, he will officially be the longest. Actually, not only will he be the longest, he will officially be the first ever four-hour cumulative person in the Rumbles. So, because Triple H only had to do like 30 more seconds. But, uh... Congratulations, Mr. Jericho. We might see Triple H, though, just to get the four hours first. Yeah, just, and then I Jericho know, I will see, be done. I can see, I can see uh-huh. Triple H, unfortunately, this involves backstage politics, but I can see Triple H being like, you know what? We're going to have him get eliminated when, he, when I still have him by one second. <laughs> uh, and finally, at number one, just for fun, something that people have not talked about at all, which uh, inspired this video. Guy, what, what the heck, guys? I don't know if I'm saying guys, but it's only you. But, uh, Kofi. I was going to avoid Kofi. elimination this year. That's a big thing people yeah, talked about for the last couple of years, and now it's he, very he's over. He's the Houdini of the Rumble. He's the, and now the thing is, the, the big thing is this year, I don't believe, unless they, 
do end up, oh, well, they, they have the SmackDown table will be down there. I was going to say, now there's no announce tables down mm-hmm. there. Because I was thinking, because well, Raw's up is, at the uh, entranceway now. It is a pay-per-view, so they might put them down there. Because it's a don't yeah, I was going to say, yeah, they, they might, because, but I was just thinking in my head, like, because now Raw's up at the entranceway now. SmackDown's still down there, but, like, because that, that was one of the things, like, he could always, have, like, have the announce table to, like, maneuver on. Mm-hmm. Now it's just a bunch of open, like, from the barricade to the ring, it's just all open space. Yep. It's very unpredictable. That's the main thing about it. But, uh, tell us your thoughts uh, and stuff that people's not talking about this year in the Rumble. Till then, we will see you at the Rumble. Adios.